Park's best kept holiday secrets, a Christmas tree with a special purpose to heal hearts and keep the memory of our furry friends alive. Here's Richard Giacobis. The holiday season brings with it lots of joy, lots of hope and peace, even a little magic. And that magic is healing hearts this Christmas. You may not be able to find it, but if you wander deep into Central Park and look around a bit, you'll notice an 18-foot evergreen, a tree adorned with laminated pictures of long-lost pets, each one of them tied in pretty ribbon. This one reads, to my sweet Ray Ray, forever and then some would not have been long enough. She died in my arms at home. So uh, this is really a good um, way to remember her. If you're a pet owner who's lost that furry family member this year, you get it. Susan Cienfuegos had her teacup Yorkie Beyonce for 14 years. Her 15th birthday would have been on Christmas Eve. There are lots of broken hearts out there. Thousands of broken hearts, many with tears rolling down their face, come here from Thanksgiving through the Epiphany to the secret pet memorial Christmas tree in Central Park. They come with a picture and a little note to honor those who used to be around the holiday table or even under it. It's in a baggie and it will leak. Marianne Larson is the unofficial keeper of this secret tree, ensuring one of these beloved pets photos are secured on their branches. Marianne is also responsible for storing the ornaments every year. The emotion is part of it. That's also the reason it's a secret. The secret pet memorial Christmas tree, it's nothing new. It's been here in the Rambles in a special place in Central Park for 30 years. And there's some poignancy to this tree and ornaments that have been on here for at least 30 years. This one is Snuggles, born 1998, died in 2014. And the most special part about it, there's his collar. For those like Susan, who lost their fur babies this year, this Christmas may be hard. But Beyonce's mom has some advice for all those with the same broken heart. Just remember all the good times. The day that they peed on your floor and you were like, oh my God. Or they made a mess and tore up papers all over your living room and you're like, oh my God. Remember those little, you know, little instances because they really were happy moments. From crossing the rainbow bridge to hanging on the secret tree, the magic each one of our pets has given us lives on forever. In Central Park, Richard Giacovis, Fox 5 News.